Hey everybody, this is a quick addendum to the video I recently posted about how to align images that were taken uh, with different orientations. So whether that's using different filters or uh, shot at different times, for whatever reason, if you need to combine two different uh, images. What I didn't show in that video is if you're trying to overlay an image that has stars with one that doesn't, uh, how do you create those star masks and how, you, uh, how do you do that alignment? So very quickly, I'm going to be using Cyril with a plugin called Starnet. There are many tutorials out there on how to use Cyril and how to use Starnet. I'm assuming that you've already got this loaded. If not, please go check them out. I'm going to post links to Astro Backyard's tutorial as well as the uh, Cyril and Starnet integration page. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing here is just uh, taking two images, one that was taken with a dual band filter, one that was taken with a UV IR cut filter. I'm going to take the stars from the UV IR cut image and I'm going to overlay them into the nebula imaged with the dual band filter. So first thing I need to do is create uh, versions of both of these images that have stars and that don't. So starting with a dual band filter, uh, I'm just going to quickly stretch both of these images uh, to expose some of the nebulosity. That is way too much of a stretch. Uh, this is an image of uh, the vicinity of Taurus. And within Taurus, we find the California Nebula, uh, or in the vicinity of Taurus, rather, we've got the California Nebula here. We've got the Flame Nebula over here. Uh, down here is the Pleiades. So uh, lots of really cool things within the area of this image. And quickly stretching a bit more. That's almost too much, isn't it? I'm not trying to make this look good. This is just for a demo. All right, good enough. Now there's a green tint to the image, and this is uh, brought on by the one-shot color camera. One-shot color cameras have two green pixel detectors for every blue and red, which uh, gives them this bit of a green noise that happens, so I've just used uh, Cyril to remove that. Well, let's do a background extraction here too. Nebula Photos did a fantastic uh, video tutorial on how to use Cyril to do image processing, so I strongly suggest that uh, you go check that out as well. well. Let's do one more stretch here. Very good, and let's just uh, drop that down a little bit, make the image a bit darker. All right, so uh, this is going to be our base for the uh, dual band filter. I'm going to go ahead and save this image, and let's call it Cyril 1. Here we go. I'm going to save that as a TIFF file. And now I'm going to remove the stars using the star processing Starnet star removal tool. I've already stretched the image, so I don't need to do an additional pre-stretch linear. I'm just going to generate the star mask. Now I've resized these images so that they're a little bit smaller. Hopefully this process runs uh, fairly quickly. Let's just give it a moment. Now, you can see from this image that the stars are actually quite bloated. And I, I don't mind the coloring of these stars, but I'm going to replace them with the stars from the uh, UV IR cut image. So here's the starless version. Let's save that as well. I'm going to call this Cyril 2. No stars. Awesome. Let's do the same thing with the UV IR cut image. So here, uh, this should be easier to process. All I need to do is crank that uh, generalized hyperbolic stretch. Let's uh, up the local stretch intensity and just 
max out that stretch so that we can see the stars in the background. There it is. Let's again remove the green noise. And I'm going to uh, saturate these stars a little bit more. And there they are. So let's save this version. This is going to be the UV IR cut version with stars. And <clears throat> now let's do the quick uh, star net star removal as well. Okay, so there, it's done. Let's save uh, this fourth image. And then we're going to move into uh, GIMP to do the manual alignment. Now, in my uh, other video, I showed three different ways of aligning images uh, from different orientations. One of them was a manual alignment using GIMP that I'm going to demonstrate here as well. Uh, the other methods were using Deep Sky Stacker and Cyril. Uh, my preferred method now going forward is Cyril, uh, but if you need to do a ma manual alignment, but if you need to do a manual alignment, you can certainly do this method as well. Uh, so here I'm going to open the four images that we just created as layers. Um, so the purpose of this video is really just to, to show this piece as well here. Let's um, view these images so they fit the window. Okay, so this is the starless image of UV IR cut, and then this here is the starless image of the dual band. This is the dual band with stars. If I toggle between uh, the dual band and UV IR cut images that have stars, we can clearly see that the stars do not line up. So what we need to do here is create a star mask that shows just the stars from the UV IR cut filter image. The way we do that is by taking the starless image and subtracting it from the version with stars and then right clicking to create a new layer, uh, excuse me, right clicking to create new from visible and we're going to call that stars. All right, now what we need to do is line these stars up with the image of the dual band filter. So to do that, we're going to take the star mask, we're going to change its opacity so that we can see both layers at the same time, and here we're going to use the move tool to line up one of the stars in this corner here. So I like to do that by increasing the magnification, let's go to 200%, and let's use the move tool in GIMP, and we're going to take this star right here, and we're going to line it up with the corresponding star uh, from the dual band filter. There it is. Hit enter to keep that change. Now uh, we can clearly see that this is our, our alignment point, but the rest of the stars are rotated, so they're rotationally shifted. And to line these up, we now use the rotation tool, which is right up here. We click on that uh, star mask, and we grab this little crosshair and we bring it so that it is directly over top of the point of rotation that we want, which is that star that we've just lined up. Come on. And at this point we can move to the other corner of the image and we can rotate this corner so that the stars in this corner line up as well. There we go. 
and we'll hit enter on that and once we zoom out now as I toggle the stars we can see that the stars from the dual band and the stars from the star mask created from the UV IR cut filter are exactly lined up so that here we can lose the dual band star image take the image that doesn't have stars from the dual band take our star mask uh, we'll increase the opacity back to 100% and this time we're going to add the star mask over top of the uh, image of the nebulas. So we're going to use addition and there we are. So those are the UV IR cut stars that are overlaid over top of the uh, dual band nebulas. And just to show what the difference in those stars is, uh, this is the dual band stars here. You can see that they're, they're kind of bloated. And this is the stars that are from the uh, UV IR cut filter image. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and clear skies.